Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a tarot reading for the disappearance of Lars Matan. I would like to apologize in advance for the noise that the rain caused. It has been raining all day today and I really need to record this today or else I will not be able to upload a new video on time. So please bear with the noise on the background during this video. On June the 30th, 2014, 28-year-old Lars Matang traveled to the seaside resort of Golden Sands, Bulgaria, vacationing with a group of friends. And on July the 6th, 2014, Matang got into a fight with four other men after a disagreement over football. The fight resulted in Metang suffering from a ruptured eardrum. At the end of his trip, due to the ruptured eardrum, a doctor advised him not to fly and prescribed an antibiotic. His friends wanted to stay with him, but Metang insisted he was fine on his own. Metang stayed in Bulgaria without his friends and checked into a cheap hotel. However, a day after his friends left, Mitang began to act oddly and his erratic behavior was recorded by the hotel's security cameras. Mitang was last seen in Farna Airport, the airport that serves Golden Sands in the nearby city of Farna. He was captured by airport security cameras running away. Once outside the airport, he was seen climbing a fence, running into a meadow and disappearing into the woods. He has not been seen since. Okay, so let's just start with the tarot reading. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have the Eight of Wands. Mother of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Three of Wands, The Magician, Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Mother of Cups, and Eight of Cups. Let me start with the Two of Swords here. I feel that this represents how he was being receptive. It's like a deception for me. So. I think that someone was trying to lure him into doing or getting somewhere and he fell for that. There are two female energy here and one male energy. It's an older male so this is not Lars's energy. Okay, so the Eight of Wands and the Three of Wands here tell about how the traveling that he did was changed into something totally different. He was supposed to have fun during this trip, but then it became something else. And this happened like overnight, like in a blink of an eye. With the seven of pentacles, I kind of feel that he probably owes someone money. It's probably why someone was after him. And the magician here, I feel that this is more of his energy because it's kind of telling me about how he possessed the money, you know, all the things. He probably knew something that was supposed to be kept a secret and that's one of the things that get him into trouble though i feel that the four of swords here was him taking a rest of his unhealthy state um taking time to heal and with the eight of cups here, I feel that he's not in 
partner anymore. He's probably went somewhere else or was transported somewhere else by now. I would like to draw more cuts to get deeper into this reading. Okay, now let's see what we have. We have the Six of Swords, Knight of Swords, the Star, the Sun, the, the Chariot, Ten of Swords, the High Priestess, Seven of Chalices, and Six of Pentacles. Okay, we will start with the Six of Swords here. Okay, so we have the last card, which is the Eight of Cups, and the first card that appeared from the second deck is the Six of Swords. Both of these mean traveling, moving, leaving something behind. So this for me means that he is not at the same place anymore by now. He has been traveling somewhere else probably another city he traveled by either car or bus as the chariot appeared here and to somewhere sunny like a tropical place but with the ten of swords here I feel that he lived against his will so someone moved him somewhere here the Knight of Swords, I feel that this represents his energy. I believe that he was trying to fight um, whoever got to him. But even if he's, he was captured by someone or probably more than one person here, I feel that that person was letting him heal, was kind of nurturing in a way. Okay, so the, this whole thing gives me a feeling of parental thing going on here. So, I'm just gonna say that with these two female energy and one the male energy, I feel that the, whoever got to him, probably an old couple. So one of these, okay, so this will be his mom's energy. She probably knows something more than we all know. And these two is a couple that is holding him captive. Okay, so let me be clear. So I have two opinions for this reading. It's either this couple is holding him captive or he asked a family related member to keep him hidden. The thing is that he is hiding something and that he was telling someone or people about it and that he mistrusted this person and that the person that he told was actually having a hidden agenda or wanted to use what he knows against him I don't know how this whole thing happened but I have the feeling that he it's like he mistrusts somebody and that's the start of whatever is going on right now with him with this Six of Pentacles, I feel that he is planning or at least fighting to free himself from the situation he's in right now. So he's doing something to make up for whatever happened to him. Those couples who have him now, I feel that one of them or probably both of them are having a relationship with the authority figure or probably one of them have a job 
that is related to the authority. Okay, we have these three oracle cards. The first is healthy lifestyle, beloved one, and patience. Okay, so I feel that he was nurtured to his healthy state. From what we know, when he was missing, he is not that healthy. But I believe that, like I said in the reading before, that someone took care of him. Now with this beloved one, I feel that this explains why I feel that there's a parental involvement here. If this was not relating to his family, that they might help him hide from whoever was targeting him. If that is not the case, then whoever have him now are people who kind of like a parent to him in a way but it's probably not in a good way because I feel that they probably have some mental issues with the patient card here he is trying to get himself free from the situation he he's in now and like I said before with the six of pentacles he is fighting so the good news is that with this whole reading it doesn't indicate that he is dead somewhere I feel that he is still alive now just that he is hidden somewhere and that is all from me today about the disappearance of Lars Mateng. I hope that one day we will have the answer of what happened to him and I pray for those who are affected by this case to get their answers as soon as possible. I would like to hear your opinion about this case so please share your thoughts in the comment section below. I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next Sons of Cases reading.